Okay, so I'm gonna do the Forsaken Tower quest. Um, you need 20% Lova Kenji favor, which you can watch my video for the intro. It takes 40 minutes to do that. So to start the quest, I'm gonna teleport to the Arceus Library. I bought all these at uh, the GE. So I'm gonna run from here all the way to right here to start the quest. And so this thing looks pretty cool. I just want to stop by it, just show it off. It's right here on the map. And so it's south of the Alright, so I'm at the house right here where you start the quest. So you go in the door. And you're going to speak with Lady Volcana Lova Kenji to start. Start the Forsaken Tower quest, yes. I'll get going. Now I'm going to teleport with the game's necklace. I'm going to rub it, right click, and go to Winter Tot Camp. So I'm going to run north and speak with Undor. Hello. So I'm going to go talk to this person. Welcome, brother. You stand before the doors of Din. Behind them lies the prison of the Winter Tot. What's a Winter Tot? We do not know what it is. All we know. All right, so once these four options appear, you can walk away. So now I'm going to speak with Undor and select option four. I've been sent to help you. Found that hammer. Alright, so I'm going to right click and teleport to the battlefront. Teleport. And from here, I'm going to run this way to the east. Let me show where on the map I'm going real quick. So I'm going to run from here over to up here. So I'm going to go east and then north and then this way. Alright, so now I'm at the Forsaken Tower, located right here on the map. So, this is the Forsaken Tower. Looks pretty cool. It looks like a, a Mega Man Legends 1 endgame um, area. Alright, so I'm going to go inside, and I'm going to click on the display symbols on it. So once this comes up, you just close it out. Alright, so... After you search the display case, you climb down this ladder. You search this one right here in the cell, right here. There's an old generator crank in the crate, and you take it. Okay, so now I'm going to go use the crank on this thing, the steam generator. There's some fuel in it, but it needs some cranking up to start it. However, the crank is missing, start the generator. Use the crank to start up the generator. So now I'm going to select the power grid right here, and it's not aligned, select yes, align the power grid. So basically, you just need to uh, click on it until it is aligned. Okay. So I aligned the power grid. You can climb the ladder after you complete that. I'm going to go through this door, 
and basically I'm going to search this cupboard. You get the tinder box in the cupboard, and then you're going to search this cupboard over here. And you're going to select take both. You take a 5 gallon jug and an 8 gallon jug from the cupboard. Alright, so basically, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to use the 8 gallon jug on the coolant dispenser here. Would you like to fill your 8 gallon jug with coolant? Yes. You fill up your 8 gallon jug. Alright, so now I'm going to right click and use the 8 gallon jug on the 5. Select yes. You had the 5 gallons? Okay. Uh, I'm going to right click the 5 gallon jug, select check, and then select empty the jug. You empty the 5 gallon jug. Now I'm going to select use the 8 gallon on the 5 gallon. Yes. I'm going to use the 8 gallon jug on the dispenser. I'm going to use the 8 gallon jug on the 5 gallon jug again. Select yes. I'm going to right click and empty. So I'm going to right click the 5 gallon jug, select check, and empty the 5 gallon jug. I'm going to right click and use the 8 gallon jug on the 5 gallon jug. Yes. I'm going to right click and check the 5 gallon jug and empty it. I'm going to right click the 8 gallon jug and use it on the 5 gallon jug. Select yes. I'm going to right click the 8 gallon jug and use it on the dispenser. Yes. I'm going to right click the 8 gallon jug and use it on the 5 gallon jug. Alright, so if you right click and you check the 8 gallon jug, it says it contains 4 gallons of coolant, so you know you're good. So, Alright, so if you try to. Uh, Alright, so now I'm going to right click and use the 8 gallon jug on. The furnace coolant. Yes. You add the four gallons of coolant to the container. Okay. So now I'm going to left click on the furnace here and light it. Yes. Alright, so I lit the furnace. Now I'm going to climb the staircase right here. I'm going to enter this room. Alright, so basically you could read, there's like a puzzle over here. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from the table a random one. And there's a possibility you could take 40 damage and get poisoned. Um, but there's a possibility you'll get the right one. There's a 20% chance. So I'm going to take fluid 5. You take fluid from the table. And I'm going to use this fluid over here. And hopefully I don't take damage. Activate the refinery, yes. You attempt to activate the refinery but nothing happens. Foreign object detector refinery must be cleansed. Cleanse the refinery, yes. So I used Formula 5 on it. Didn't work, so I took 25 damage and now my character is poisoned. So let's try another one. I'm going to try Fluid 4. Take Fluid 4 from here. So I'm going to right click and use Unknown Liquid over here. Cleanse the refinery, yes. So that one didn't work either. So... I'm going to try another one. I'm going to try fluid 3. I'm going to use fluid 3 on here. Cleanse refinery, yes. That didn't work again. So now I'm going to use fluid 2. Run over here. I'm going to use unknown liquid over here. Cleanse refinery, yes. You pour, but a violent reaction occurs. Alright, so none of those worked. So I died. Refinery. Yes. Activate the refinery, yes. You activate the refinery. Alright, so that one worked. So that's done. I'm going to climb this ladder here now. Alright, so I'm going to left click on the west. You get an energy disc. I'm going to use that on the east. I'm going to use west on the middle.
I'm going to use east on middle. I'm going to use west on east. I'm going to use the middle on the west. I'm going to use the middle on the east. I'm going to use the west on the east. I'm going to use the west on the middle. I'm going to use the east on the middle. I'm going to use the east on the west. I'm going to use the middle on the west. I'm going to use the east on the middle. And I'm going to use the west on the east. And then I'm going to use the west on the middle. And I'm going to use the east on the middle. You successfully add and successfully rebalancing the runic altar. Alright, so that is completed now. So, I'm going to climb down all the way. I'm going to examine the display case again from the beginning. With the hammer in it. The display case contains an old ornate hammer made of some strange metal. You take it. All right. So I'm going to right click and teleport with my games necklace to Winter Tot. And I'm going to speak with Undor here. Hello. Alright, so if you speak with them, it's inadequate. I'm going to right click and I'm going to use the Dint's Hammer on Undor. You give Dint's Hammer to Undor. Look at it. Such a work of art. Different never fails to impress. Now I have this, it shouldn't take me long to fix the doors. Does this mean the winter top won't be a threat anymore? That should be the case in the long run. I suspect it'll take a long time though. The doors are damaged for a while and the winter top will have gained a lot of power. Give Dint's Hammer to Undor. You're going to use the Arceus Library Teleport. And you're going to run back and complete the quest at Lovakenji. Volcano Lovakenji. And I'm going to speak with Volcano Lovakenji. But I've done what you've asked. Oh, what did I ask? We asked them to go and see what Undor needed help with at the doors of Din. That we did, Counselor. Quite right. And what was it that Undor needed? Well, here you go then. Have this. Nice. Quest completed. Alright, cool. I'm gonna end stream and then go and basically 